than you. I can bend you like a pretzel, I can tear you in two. I like to taunt you and scare you and make you feel lame. Cause in this business, that's the name of the game. I'm a big time wrestler and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain you. I win or I lose by the count of three. But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me. The ropes won't save you when I start my attack. If you try to escape, I'll just pull you back. I'll spin you like a top and when you've had enough, I'll turn up the heat and really start to get rough. Cause I'm a big time wrestler and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain you. I win or I lose by the count of three. But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me. Partners, Larry Lloyd, last of the singing cowboys here for Wrestle Birmingham. I'm here with my wonder horse, Rex. Say hello, Rex. <laughs> We're about to bring you some NWA championship wrestling action, so don't you dare go away. There was blood on the saddle. There was blood on the ground. Right up, the ever exotic Adrian Street and Miss Linda against Eon Flex. And don't forget to pay close attention to the interview at the end of the match. How about it there, Ricks? Introducing first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 110 kilos. Elon Flex! If you people don't sit down and shut up, I will walk right out this building and deprive you people of seeing the greatest technical wrestler alive today. His opponent. All the way from England. Weighing at 207 pounds. Being accompanied to the ring by Miss Linda. Please welcome Birmingham Exotic Adrian. So imagine what I have to do to you. Mm. To see my many attributes, you won't need a second glance. You know if you resist it. And uh, we are ready for action here, finally. Adrian Street. Oh, he's got his wig on. He's got to take the wig off. And Ian Flex. <laughs> A better showmanship indeed by the consummate showman. The exotic one. <laughs> Finally, we'll get underway. And they do lock up. And right away, Adrian Street with the go behind. Very classic European, Euro Greco wrestling style. Euro Greco. And there's Adrian Street. Doing a little move, and right away, Adrian Street uh, embarrassing Ian Flex. <laughs> Flex being comforted, if you would. Consoled. And instructions being passed from manager to protege. Hard to uh, check on this as to who's the protege in this duo. And that Flex indeed may have been uh, around the wrestling world a lot longer than his manager. Flex finally makes his way back into the ring. Adrian Street locks up with him, takes the side headlock. Again, the Greco-Roman style, the European style of wrestling versus the Australian catch-as-catch-can. Classic here. 
and Flex catches Adrian Street and has him in the bear hug and cinches him up, up under that rib cage. And if Flex can hold him, this can take a lot out of a man. Here's Street gonna try to break it with an elbow to the shoulder, but he can't get it down as, just as he's about to drop it. Flex puts the pressure on the lower back of Street. Whoa! That is the French style of wrestling, if you will. <laughs> Brought the reaction of the crowd, obviously, and uh, it's a completely different reaction of Ian Flex. As Flex is on the floor again, I'll tell you, if Flex continues to stay on the floor, we may have to have a floor show here at Russell Birmingham tonight. So I hope he brought his microphone and sparkling uh, attire. Ian Flex not quite sure of what he's up against with the exotic one. Miss Linda just being a very casual observer on the outside. They lock it again, collar and elbow, and this time, Adrian Street with an uppercut. Gonna punish the man a little bit. Right hand, side of the face. Got him by that short little ponytail, or pig bob, if you would. Brings him up, and oh, Adrian got the referee that time. Oh! Maybe we ought to call Adrian Street lover boy Adrian Street after this display. <laughs> oh, very much a uh, unique form and style. And of course, trust me, this is a head game that Adrian is playing with uh, Ian Flex, just trying to get into his psyche a little bit, get his mind off of what the uh, task at hand is, and that is defending the European Heavyweight Championship here on Wrestle Birmingham. Flex cautiously returning to the ring. Again, they lock it up. Go behind with the chicken wing. And that time being spun around. And Adrian Street drops the elbow into the kidney area and goes behind Ian Flex. Here's a step over. Look at this. Whoa, and the ride. Street has Flex down. This could be a pinning combination. Rolls him over. You know, drop that head right into the mat. You knew that was coming. When he rolled him over, you knew that Adrian Street was going to pound the head right into the canvas. Picks him up. Uppercut. Ian Flex down. Ian Flex not able to mount much of an offense here in this match. And I say the early going. This match has been going on for a while, but... Uh, uh, most of the time, Ian Flex spent was on the floor one way or the other. Now he's on the floor of the mat, i.e. the canvas. Go behind, roll up, one, two. The Australian roll by the exotic one. Now he's going to step on his hand to prevent him from coming up. Again, the tactics of Adrian Street. There's a little spanky Yankee. Go behind, Adrian Street going to pick him up. Campbell Clutch, oh no. The Bronco, the busting Bronco. <laughs> Adrian Street. Certainly amusing the crowd, but not to the amusement and certainly to the embarrassment of Ian Flex. And Flex is going to go right outside one more time. Ian Flex taking the refuge of the floor once again. His manager over to hopefully rub off the effects of that. Flex is getting a little frustrated, and this could come to haunt him as this match continues. The inflex finally back into the ring here. Referee Roy George steps aside and right away Street becomes the aggressor but Flex may have gotten the best of that. Now Adrian going to come out of this situation. He's going to break it. Ooh, a couple of chops to the top of the just under the chin. He's, these are just short chops and Alias from outside, the manager of Ian Flex, tripped up, reached his hand in, and tripped up Adrian Street, which gives the advantage to Ian Flex. And Flex right away takes over with the step over toe hold. Drops down lower part of the leg, trying to stretch that knee with the leg twist. 
Took the toe hold, dropped to the knee, and now look, get some help from outside. Whoa, my goodness. NWA action coming to you. Russell Birmingham live from the Zamora Shrine Temple. We have a big announcement on a big card coming up that we want to talk about very shortly. And uh, we will be getting into that with the Director of Enforcement for the NWA, hopefully who will join us shortly, and Roy Lee Welch. In the meantime, this European Championship match continues, and Ian Flex with the advantage on the exotic Adrian Street in the ring right now. Street trying to break it up, and look how he's doing it. He's taking the free leg, wrapping it around the chin of Flex, trying to gain an advantage to break the leg drop. And the leg lock looks to be, well, he's rolling out. Did he break it? He broke it momentarily. But Flex brings him back out into the ring and drops on it again. Short leg scissors this time by Ian Flex. Flex! Oh, look at this. There's a, there's a way to break that up. As Adrian Street just planted one right on the mouth to Flex, but Flex is going to go right back onto that leg and work over the exotic one one more time. This time, drops the knee to the backside of the calf muscle. And uh, the exotic Adrian Street is the worst for wear in this one. And now look at this. Damage being done from outside. Miss Linda being, uh, being uh, attended to by the referee and that uh, she is on the, the apron. Ian Flex is screaming at her. And in the meantime, Alias is working over Adrian Street on the apron across the way. And Flex continuing to mock Miss Linda, referee Roy George, ordering him to the floor. And while she is being ordered to the floor, Ian Flex pulls Adrian Street back in and dissolves the uh, knee area again with that leg drop. And when I say dissolves, that's what he's doing. He's wearing it down. And now a half crab, half Boston crab, this time by Ian Flex. Street caught. Going to need to do something. That leg is being worked over by Ian Flex the European champion. Pressure on the back. Uh-oh. That may be a PG rating this time. As Adrian Street broke the hole, but I don't think I would recommend that. And right away, Ian Flex drops the elbow on the sacrum area, the lower back of the exotic Adrian Street. The referee now being distracted by Ian Flex again. And in the meantime, the manager alias trying to work over Street in the corner. Street trying to get back up. Alias has got him, he's choking him. The manager of Ian Flex choking the exotic Adrian Street. Street brings him into the ring. Adrian Street has Alias, whoa! Runs them together. Alias is down. Flex is down, Miss Linda pushes him over. Street to the cover, one, will we have a new champion? We do! The new European champion, the exotic Adrian Street. You are the greatest fans I've ever met in the world. I know, I know that this is a European title, but I know that every one of you is just as sure as I am that this has gone back to its right, its right place. And I couldn't be more thrilled that I've won this title back in front of my all-time favorite fans. This is fantastic. We're both so damn excited, hello Robert. Well, thank you very much, just change his box. Robert Fuller coming to ringside. I'm one of the first to congratulate you, Adrian. That's pretty good for a little fella. He went back out there, won that dad dumbbell just like you said he was gonna do. And you know what, I also wanna congratulate you, Miss Linda. You know, I gotta say it, you have refined yourself like a good American girl here. Uh, look at you, I remember when you wore the leather and spikes and all the stuff. Now look at you now, you look like a bona fide lady. I love seeing that, but I don't wanna rain on your parade, but I do want you to know 
that you'll be meeting Wendell Cooley when we return here for Wrestle Birmingham on Saturday. Is it the 8th of October? The 8th of October, and I was just about to bring up Wendell Cooley is in line for a championship. Well, show. I have acquired Wendell Cooley's contract, and I will be managing Wendell Cooley. He's part of the stud stable now, and I just want to tell you, keep that same demeanor that you have. You've aged well, girl. I, get, I guarantee you that. How about those spikes? Those spikes. And you'll just wait for your face to get raked to pieces. Yeah. about to start. I'll tell you one thing. I don't know if you've seen, I don't know if you've seen Wendell lately. If he wants to crack at the light heavyweight title, he's going to lose half his body weight because he's got a belly on him. He's got a belly on him like Ron Fuller's mouth. <laughs> Wendell Cooley. Wendell Cooley was always as strong as an ox and twice as smart. And if he wants to challenge me for this, fair enough. And I don't care if he's got Robert Fuller or any of the other Fullers behind him because I've got something to offset that. And that's Miss Linda. If he wants to see the spikes, if he wants to see the leather and spikes, you get the leather and spikes. You just wait. You've bitten off more than you can chew even with your big mouth. You know, I've been to a World's Fair and several goat ropings, but I ain't never seen anything like this next match, a lover boy leave town match. You know, we used to call that something else where I come from. You know, they got to whopping and whooping and started cheating. It even had to bring in the NWA enforcer in. Let's take a look at it now. Wrestling fans making his way to ringside at 240 pounds, from Pensacola, Florida, he is the lover boy, Dennis Condry. And his opponent making his way into the ring at 220 pounds from Atlanta, Georgia, he is the lover boy, Lee Thomas. One fall with a loser leaves town stipulation. This match. Loser leave town on Russell Birmingham. This has been an ongoing battle for almost six months now between the lover boys, lover boy Dennis Condry, the old school lover boy against uh, the new breed, lover boy Lee Thomas. We have been joined at ringside by the director of enforcement for the NWA, Roy Lee Welch. Roy, as always, good to have you here, but boy, I know you're here not only to commentate, but to observe this extremely important match because Ultimately, Russell Birmingham is going to lose a wrestler at the end of this one. Well, that's right. This is a loser leave town, and one of them will leave. Uh, I know that Dennis Condry just cannot take having another lover boy around. Well, this is going to be an interesting match, and in the past, we have seen uh, the lover boy Lee Thomas take uh, the measure or take the Dennis Condry to the distance, really stretch him to his furthest band, but at the same time, we've always seen Dennis Condry somehow, some way, turn the tables, and I know that's part of the reason that you're here for this match. Well, that's it. You know, I can't interfere in the match. Uh, uh, Roy is out there as the referee, official referee, and I can't interfere with that. But yet, you've got to watch what the man does. Through the years, he's always taken shortcuts, and, and Condry, as, as talented as he is and as, as good a wrestler as he is, continues to take shortcuts anytime he can. And look at lover boy Lee Very Thomas. Nice move. Sunset flip. On Dennis Condry, he got a two count right away in the early going in this match. Two different styles, really. You've got the Greco-Roman style of, of uh, Dennis Condry, the old catch-as-catch-can style that we were all raised in. And then with Loverboy Lee, a lot of the new high-flying annex that have come uh, by way of Lucha Libra. Before we go on in this match, just quickly, Roy, I want to bring up the fact that uh, there is a big card of action coming to the Boutwell Auditorium. At one time, the showplace of professional wrestling in all the South. And it's uh, going to be really, really rejuvenated with a Legends card coming to that arena on October 8th. That's a Saturday night. And you've already, uh, with promotion, been working with promotion. You made a match uh, earlier with the exotic Adrian Street putting his European title on the line against Wendell Cooley. Wendell Cooley, who is now managed by or part of the stud stable of Robert Fuller. 
Uh, there is just so, you, you've got a special referee in a match that's going to be coming up between Bullet Bob Armstrong and Jimmy Golden and uh, Rick House Brown as a special referee. A lot more matches as well. This is an incredible event coming well, to Birmingham let's, let's on October face it, 8th. Boutwell's had a facelift and so is wrestling. And here we are coming back with some of the greatest names in professional wrestling that, that the fans love to watch. I'm sure it's going to be a packed house, so people better plan on getting their tickets early because they have got, uh, at that night, probably the, the biggest and best night of professional wrestling that they will ever see. Well, there are some outstanding uh, athletes, outstanding stars, outstanding superstars, outstanding veterans. We will tell you more about that as Russell Birmingham continues. In this match, though, right now, a critically important match to the NWA and Russell Birmingham, the loser leave town match between the lover boys, Dennis Condry and Lee Thomas. Have you ever thought, you know, Roy Lee, when you see a veteran like Dennis Condry, and I don't think this is, could ever happen, and you see a, a young man like uh, Lee Thomas who is really starting to make his mark on professional wrestling, what a team that could become. What, what synergy, what chemistry that a veteran like Condry could do with a, a young man like Lee Thomas. But I, it, it, things like that just don't happen anymore. Well, it, not very often. It's very, uh, it's very rare that two opposing parties like this can come together. You know, Lee Thomas is so athletic and he's in such great shape and can, has the endurance of, of, uh, of any wrestler out there. Uh, but he doesn't have the knowledge of Dennis. If there's some way they could be put together, yeah, it would be amazing. Right now, Dennis Condry taking Look the measure of the confidence he's got. Yes. You know, Condry knows when he has control, and he takes and he, and he shows it. Dennis Condry keeps looking over here to the table because uh, I, I think you're right, Roy, in, in that he thinks uh, when he's in control, Dennis knows he's in control, but it's also a situation where Lee Thomas at any time can turn the tables, and indeed this is a test of strength and endurance in the ring right now. Well, I tell you, I, I, I kind of hope my uh, presence here affects uh, Dennis Condry a little bit. I'm not, I'm not one of his biggest fans because simply because of the way he handles himself. I'm well, it's also that. a situation as the director of enforcement of the NWA, I know for a fact that you've been assigned to this match because you want to make sure that in a match this important that things go right. Well, it has to. I meant, uh, you talk, this is a man's livelihood. When he has to quit his livelihood, it's a serious business. And Dennis Condry going to send Lee Thomas to the floor and right away does and follows up. This is, this is typical Dennis Condry. Oh, my goodness. Coming Look this way. It. Holy Toledo. Right in front of us, Lee Thomas's head slammed into our electrical equipment here at ringside. Almost lost a pair of glasses with that one. <laughs> Much as I hate to say it, I think he did that on purpose. To get your attention? Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Well, you know this man. If anybody knows him, you've been in the ring many times with Dennis Condry. When you're facing a man like Dennis Condry, what does Lee Thomas have to look out for? You know, there is so much because the guy is so versatile. He will be behind you before you know it. Mm. There are so many things you got to watch out for. I mean, it, it's impossible. If there was four people on the corner cueing him in, he'd never know what to do. And Lee Thomas, right now, Condry just content on keeping him out of the ring, wearing him down, beating him down, taking the measure of the younger wrestler. And uh, Lee Thomas right now is the worst for wear. And well, what he's, he's taking Lee Thomas out of his game. That's what he's trying to do. I mean, he... Uh, Condry, um, unfortunately, is a very intelligent wrestler. Knows what he's doing. He's taking Lee out of his game and uh, making it very difficult for him to uh, to get to the point where he can beat Condry. And he's, it's serious for him to beat Condry. You know, here at Russell Birmingham, we saw a reuniting of the uh, the Midnight Express a while back with him and beautiful Bobby. And uh, a team, when you saw them, there was just a magic there. They just oh, It yeah. was like they had never been apart. The synergy was there, and it always will be. Look at him, you know. And as a and as a singles wrestler, and as you say, he is a very smart man, but he's a very conniving wrestler. That's yeah. one thing about Dennis Condry. And I'm not sure how much of that is Dennis Condry and how much of that is uh, uh, the one and only Jimmy Cornette coming out in him. <laughs> you know, and, keeping his focus away from uh, the match is liable to be a detriment to this match, too. <laughs> that's he's liable to find himself on the road. And right now, Lee Thomas mounting a comeback. Andrea is reeling. He's in trouble now. Lee Thomas with those left and rights. Have him in the corner. Wants to cock that right hand. Pow! One, two, the referee. Not much he can do this time, Roy. He's just got to watch and see what happens. Oh! oh. Dennis Condry just look pushed at, Lee Thomas look off into the referee. Oh, no, he can't do that right in front of me. Now, this oh, put, he's got something in his hand, This Roy. puts me in a bad spot. Now, I can't interfere, but now this is not right. 
Dennis Condry has something concealed. There you see it in his hand. It's tape, and it looks like there's something inside that oh, tape. I hope the referee comes around and sees this. Roy George has been knocked down. Lee Thomas is attending to the referee. Oh! Lee Thomas waylaid. Oh, no. Now, this puts me in a bad spot. I One. don't know. I can't. Referee Roy George oh. with the count. Dennis Godry has won the match, Roy. That's not right. Ladies and that gentlemen, your winner right of the match, the lover boy, Dennis Look at this. Condry. Right in front. That's it. I, I can't help it. I got to go. Riley Welch dropping his headset on the table and is headed into the ring. We're going to follow him in. Hey, Wranglers. Here's the latest news straight from the horse's mouth. NWA Championship Wrestling comes back to Batwell Auditorium in Birmingham, October the 8th. Make your plans to be there for the Legends of Wrestling show. If I'm not mistaken, your name would be Welch. Is that correct? Is that correct? the greatest family in professional wrestling, and I'm proud to be a Welsh. Is Not that right? I'll tell you that right now. Is that right? Well, if you're so damn great, why don't you get your tights on and let's see what you can do. All right, I'll tell you what. It's a legend show anyway. A legend show. I'll put my tights on. I'll put my boots on. No, no. I'll come out of retirement because somebody has to teach you, Dennis Condry, a lesson. No, 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 come on. Let me tell you something, Mr. Condry. I can get it done. I know your tactics. I know how you wrestle. I know what it takes for you to win. Well, let me tell you something. I can do the same thing. Riley Welch. What does that mean? Accepting the challenge of Dennis Condry and says he'll put his tights on one more time. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But don't forget, we'll be back next week right here on Channel 3340 with more NWA Championship Wrestling action at Wrestle Birmingham. Until then, I'm Larry Lloyd, last of the Singing Cowboys, and my wonder horse, Rex. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Rex, what did you do? Oh, oh, Rex, God, dog it! Now I got to get out the shovel and the rake, and there goes my reputation. I win or I lose by the count of three, but whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me. The ropes won't save you when I start my attack. If you try to escape, I'll just pull you back. I'll spin you like a top, and when you've had enough, I'll turn up the heat and really start to get rough. Cause I'm a big time wrestler and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain you. I win or I lose by the count of three. But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me. I'll throw you and kick you and make you feel sick. I'll set you on fire like a candle wick. The ref will yell and the fans will complain. But that won't save you from feeling the pain. The I'm pain. a big time wrestler and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain you. I win or I lose.